guys, let's see here. So the question is, is an iPhone X still worth it in 2020? Or rather still, if you have an iPhone X, do you consider upgrading to one of the newer versions of the iPhone? As the way to the end of this video, I have a special announcement and freebies to be given out. Let's jump right into the video. Welcome back guys. In 2017, Apple released one of their flagship phones, the iPhone X. This phone made the community go crazy because finally, Apple was beginning to listen. They gave us a bigger screen. Mine was a notch though, but still a bigger screen, a faster processor. It just made life easier. Then in 2019, they wowed us again with the 11 and their brothers, the 11, the 11 Pro, the 11 Pro Max. Now, do you consider upgrading your existing iPhone X to one of the 11 brothers or even one of the newer iPhones? Or if you don't have an iPhone yet, do you consider buying the iPhone X? To help you make this decision, I've put together five basic comparison points which we'll be looking at. Display and resolution, battery life, camera, sound and performance, and one of the most exciting, price. So for display, the iPhone X comes with a Super Retina XDR OLED screen, uh, which is 5.8 inches. Then that of the 11 Pro, it comes with also a Super Retina XDR display, 5.8 inches. It's also an OLED screen. When we are talking about battery life, the iPhone X comes with a 2716 milliamps and talk time of up to 1821 hours, gives you also 60 hours of music time. While the 11 Pro comes with about 3046 milliamps, it's basically the battery lasts longer. For the camera, the iPhone X has a single facing 12 megapixel camera. It shoots at 4K at aperture 5 1.8. It also shoots at 1080p at 30 frames per second. In terms of speed and performance, the iPhone 10 comes with an A11 Bionic chip, a hexacore 2.39 GHz, which can basically perform 600 billion operations per second. And um, when you're looking at this compared to the newer versions of the iPhone, like the iPhone 11 Pro, it comes with the A13 Bionic chip. So for price, the iPhone X, you can get a refurbished iPhone X for about $500, but the 11 Pro still ranks at $1,000, and this is just for the 64 gig model. So as you can see, the iPhone X and the 11 Pro have a lot in common, though there are some significant differences um, when it comes to processor speed and camera functionality. Now the big question is this, these extra changes, are they worth that extra 500 bucks for you to spend in 2020, considering all that is going on? Well, if you ask me, I would say no. I'd rather wait for an iPhone 12 to see if that phone will smash all Apple's recent specs, give me more value for my money. Though that phone will be priced at probably $1,200 or so, but it's better and it's worth the wait. Now, if you still decide to get the iPhone X, it's a prime choice for you in 2020. You still get a 12 MP camera, though you don't have the option of ultra wide and ultra zoom. But nonetheless, I don't feel you really need that in your day to day activity unless you're a mobile photographer or a mobile cinematographer. And one of the most important things price. You get to save close to $500 that you can use to do other things. Yep other things so all right guys let me know what you think about this video drop your thoughts in the comment down below if you're new here don't forget to like subscribe and share so guys we've come to the end of this video and like i promised earlier i have a special announcement and freebies to give so first the special announcement yay it's my birthday and for my birthday i'm really excited so i'll be giving out wallpapers for those using the iphone x or those thinking of getting the iphone x you can find the link to this awesome wallpaper i designed in the description below for my other users don't worry, I didn't leave you guys out. I also designed wallpaper that can fit almost any phone. You could just resize it to fit the phone screen of your choice. Link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get updated about everything happening in the tech ecosystem. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.